If you hate deer flies as much as I hate deer flies, then this video is just for you. If you want to learn how to catch deer flies when you're not even at home, hang around. We'll help you get a handle on things. <laughs> Hey, welcome to our channel. Now, if you've ever spent any time in the woods or if you live in the country, you may live in a place where deer flies are a problem. Where I live, the deer flies this year in particular have been extremely bad. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you how we deal with deer flies around here. Now, most deer fly traps require you to put sticky tape on the back of your hat or some sticky stuff on top of a helmet. Now, I've got a video showing how to make a really, really nice professional looking helmet for the sticky stuff as well. Go ahead and check that out right here. But if you're not into wearing a hat, I've got another little device that I came up with for taking care of the deer flies, whether I'm at home or not. It isn't quite as effective as walking around with a helmet on because it doesn't cover as much ground, but it certainly does a great job if you put it where the deer flies are. Let's go have a look at it. Hey, do us a favor and don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Thanks. Now this gadget is my deer fly rotisserie. All it is is a couple of blue solo cups on a rotator that I've attached to a barbecue rotisserie motor. And then I applied two solo cups in their favorite color, which is royal blue, and applied just a little bit of tangle foot on those cups. Now this stuff is Tanglefoot. It is some awful sticky stuff. The only thing that hates this stuff more than me is deer flies. It's like a cross between honey and super glue. You can get it for about eight bucks a tub. Oh, sometimes a little bit more depending on where you're buying it. You can buy it on eBay, you can buy it on Amazon, or you can sometimes buy it at your local garden store. Looks a little bit like caramel. Now Tanglefoot will tell you that the easiest way to clean it up, or the recommended way to clean it up, is with an orange cleaner. Now what I use is this stuff here. It's pure citrus. This is just an air freshener. All it is, is it's pure citrus. You can also get this online for a few bucks a can. You'll see that the deer flies are attracted to the moving blue color. And they come over here and this kills deer flies all day long. Now, as the tangle foot slides down the cups, the deer flies kind of slide down the cup with it and they fall off the cup eventually. So it's somewhat self-cleaning. Now, you'll notice that there are no deer flies flying around in the camera. That's because this does a pretty good job of keeping this area, which used to be just lousy with deer flies, pretty well deer fly free. When I walk over here and deer flies follow me, they go right to the cups. For construction, all I did was take a piece of quarter inch plate and I welded a simple standoff and then another piece of thinner plate onto that because these barbecue motors fit over just like that. Then I put a support pipe on top, welded a down rod onto my turning rod and you'll see that I just ground a square spot on the bottom of that shaft to make it work in the rotisserie. Then I welded a piece of tube on it that would slip over the top of a T-post so it could be moved around easily, and we were ready to go. All I needed after that was an extension cord that would reach wherever I wanted to put this. The rotisserie motor is rated for constant use. So this thing is gonna be good for, oh, it probably last you all summer. I've had them last two years before. I'm the world's second worst welder, and if I can do this, so can you. There you have it, simple and easy, and inexpensive too. I think I spent $30 on the rotisserie motor. I ordered it online. Again, that's a six RPM rotisserie motor. I don't recommend a slower one. The deer flies just aren't as attracted to the slower moving stuff.